Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lucas and I work here at Bayside with our next gen worship. I wanna to talk to you today about tests. Now I know by simply saying that word, a few of y'all started to feel a little bit anxious or on edge. I don't know about you, but when I think of tests, I start to get a little anxious and start to feel pressure. Growing up in school and taking tests frequently, I associate the word test with pressure to succeed and to pass. I remember walking into a room to take my ACT in high school and feeling so much pressure that I had a hard time focusing and I ended up scoring really poorly on my first try. Now with this mindset, I always found it confusing when the Bible mentioned tests. I thought that I was going to have to walk into a situation and prove to God that I knew the right answers, that I could pass his tests. I didn't realize until later that tests in the Bible were completely different than the ones I'd experienced in school. In biblical times, tests weren't about passing or failing, but about learning something through a process. It wasn't about giving the right answers, but how you react to the pressure of a situation. In James chapter one, verses two and three, James writes to consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. So my question to you is this, when you feel like you are going through a test or a trial, how are you responding? When something happens in your life that creates pressure or anxiety, how are you reacting to that situation? In 2 Corinthians 4, Paul writes, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. I truly believe that God wants us to respond to our troubles by growing closer to Him. When you come home from a hard day at school or something happens in your life that feels like a test, I would encourage you to spend some time in prayer, read your Bible, or put on a worship song. Being a musician and worship leader, this is my go-to when I'm having a bad day or going through struggles. The simple act of worshiping God helps me refocus my gaze from the problems in my life to the one who can bring me peace through it all. Not only is focusing your eyes on Jesus going to help you build your faith, but you can learn how to have peace through your trials. As the school semester is coming to a close and you might be facing some situations where you feel anxious or pressure to perform or succeed, let's remember to fix our eyes on what is unseen and eternal rather than letting our momentary trials rob us of the peace that we have in God's presence. Let's pray. God, I thank you for every student hearing my voice right now that they would learn to fix their eyes on you in every season of their lives. Lord, I pray that when they face difficult times and tests in their lives, that you would give them the strength and courage to grow closer to you through the process and that their faith would be strengthened. I pray you bless them and keep them safe in everything they do. Amen. See you guys next time. Hey, thanks so much for visiting our channel today. If you wanna check out some more awesome content, click right here for one of our recent videos. Click right here to subscribe so you don't miss anything.